So I guess the situation with if you can study and work at the same time. So for China, you cannot, if you are on a student visa, you cannot work unless you're doing an internship that's part of your degree that you like have to do it. So that's, that's the only way. And those are usually not paid. There's no option to study and work in uh, what, from what I know, mainland China um, to do that at the same time. And I think for safety's sake that I don't think it's re- possible in Taiwan either. Usually if you're on one type of visa, it's quite difficult to try and do the other thing. The, the only places where I know that you can definitely study and work part-time is in Europe. On the study visa, you can work for 20 hours. And then in some other countries like Australia, they also allow it. Yeah, I think we have an article about that on Global Admissions website. So you should be able to see which are the countries that are open for study work opportunities like Australia, mm-hmm. New Zealand, and yes. then South Korea and a few other countries. I'm not sure yes. about Taiwan actually, but I think we, it's something that we can check. We can help you check as well. And in case yes. if you are interested to study there or in other destinations, you can also contact us at uh, our email address, apply at globaladmissions.com so we can give you more info and some insights about uh, that place and also if there are any additional requirements required for your case, yeah. Yes, and just be careful um, when it comes to this and make absolutely sure if you're allowed to work and study at the same time, Mm -hmm. because in the event that you are not allowed to, it's a very, very serious issue. And if you get caught, you will get deported. Um, And you will not be able to finish your program either. It's very serious. If you're not allowed to work while you are studying, do not do it. 